It's understandable that updates for CS2 slow down as we lead up to a big event. Valve doesn't want to break the game moments before it's shown on the big screen in front of millions of viewers. That would be embarrassing. He's crashed, oh no, in a pivotal round! But since CS2's first major ended last weekend, there's no longer that excuse. So now is the prime time for Valve to roll out all those big and juicy updates to the game that we hope they've been working on. But what is it that we want to see? The main improvement that people are hoping for is something to tackle the cheating problem the game has. There are two different issues here. One of these is where there are cheaters who can slip past the anti-cheat measures undetected, ruining your games. But there's another problem as well, and it's a bit sneakier, and it arises when people have so little trust in the anti-cheat measures that they begin to assume people are cheating even when they aren't. So right now it's very hard for me to know just how big the actual cheating problem is, but people thinking it's a problem is a problem unto itself, and once people think there's a problem it becomes self-perpetuating, where people lose faith in their opponents playing fairly, and honest players end up no longer wanting to play the game for themselves. Look, even pro players are publicly tweeting, sorry, Xing about the cheating situation. I thought Overwatch was such a clever feature because it helped tackle both of these cheating problems at once. Because anyone who felt like the game had a cheating problem could feel like they were making a difference by submitting it for review and by reviewing cases for themselves, with the intention of getting cheaters banned. And I felt like Overwatch helped give players more faith in the game's anti-cheat measures since they were now part of it. In the last few years of CSGO, none of the cases I reviewed ever came back saying I got a cheater banned or anything like that, so I presume the feature was sabotaged beyond repair. And now it isn't in the game at all. Source 2 is a new engine, a new start, a whole new set of exploits just waiting to be patched. But I was also hoping it would be built with the decades of anti-cheat experience Valve had accumulated from Source, so I am a little disappointed that CS2's early lifetime has been plagued so heavily by so many cheaters, some of them cheating so blatantly. CSGO didn't have this on such scale towards the end of its life. I do find it difficult to discuss anti-cheat because I don't know that much about it. Not many of us do. I don't trust my own experiences and matches to be representative of everyone else's. I don't work for Valve, I don't cheat, and I don't write cheats to bypass the game's anti-cheat measures. But I do know the most effective anti-cheats involve people not fully understanding how it works. So while we'd all love for Valve to fully reveal all of the anti-cheat measures they're rolling out in great depth, they're unlikely to do this and it would undermine the very things they're discussing. So here's hoping we see the result of their efforts in the form of large, dramatic VAC ban waves and new features being added to make things at least a bit harder for spin botters. Moving away from cheaters now, I'd like to see some new and different maps. It's great we finally got some arms race maps a few months ago, but the map pool and game modes are still pitifully limited compared with the game it's supposed to have replaced. And we know those maps are there somewhere, we saw train teased in the trailer for this game, yet it still isn't anywhere to be seen within the game itself. We also got early screenshots of maps like Lake, so I would at least have hoped to see some of these in the game by this point. So I have no idea what happened to all of these things, but I don't just want stuff added back in again. I'm also hoping for some new things. This is Counter-Strike 2. It can't just be Counter-Strike 1 with prettier lighting. Valve doesn't even need to make the maps themselves. We could just get an operation with community-made maps in. CSGO got its first operation around this sort of time after the game's first release, give or take a few months, and that was filled with workshop submitted maps. And yes, I know CS2 is a new game engine with a new set of tools for people to master, and that it takes longer than ever to get a map up to competitive standards. But equally, the teams of mappers working on this game are better than ever before, and it won't be long before there are some really impressive maps for Valve to pick from. So at some point I hope CS2 gets a 2.0 release, with new maps and better anti-cheat, so that players finally have a good reason to jump back into the game if they've been put off by early stage teething issues. Something needs to be done about the pitiful state of the server browser. To think this used to be the heart and soul of this game, and now it's literally unplayable, and you need to use third party websites to stand a chance of finding servers. I would love to see Valve do a complete U-turn by actually doing something to revitalise this aspect of the game. It is, after all, what drew me to it in the first place. I'm not sure where I stand when it comes to gameplay changes. CS2 already builds on decades of refinement to the Counter-Strike formula, coming with its own changes like the volumetric smoke clouds, unlimited tasers and a shorter match length. But if the game is to receive a gameplay change, then right now, right after the major, is the best time for these things to be rolled out. Valve should have plenty of data on pro and non-pro matches to make judgments about what to change and how. The biggest change to the game was dropping the length of a side down from 15 to 12 rounds. I really like a shorter match length, both for playing and for watching. Plus it makes best of threes and fives 
so much more manageable as well. And it's a decent compromise to do away with the short and long match options which used to divide CSGO's matches. However, a shorter overall match length has many hard to quantify knock-on implications to the game's economy, because now the outcome of that first pistol round and following eco rounds will dictate a greater portion of the match. And getting the bomb planted early can send the CT's economy into bloody tatters for a large percentage of that game now. So perhaps other bits of the economy need to be rejigged to accommodate for this shorter match length, and to help the losing side get back into the fight sooner again. But in general, I'm not too concerned about major gameplay changes being made to the game at this point. We've got CS2, we're still living in the future here, and having the game's largest type of tournament hosted on this new version is a major milestone for the series. And for the most part, the game performed well. So rather than mess too much with the Counter-Strike formula, Valve just needs to add more quantity, tackle the cheating issue, and to give the player base more justification to dedicate their lives to the grind. Valve, please fix.